Hello everyone. I'm going to make a video here. Actually there's going to be four videos in this series. Um, just picked up a XP Deus. Um, the initial uh, thoughts are that this thing is going to be one awesome machine. I made a similar video with my AT Pro and so uh, this is going to be for as much for my own purposes of training and learning stuff as also possibly helping somebody else out. So what I've set up here is um, a variety of different rings, couple earrings, uh, some coins, and some trash items, pull tabs, and twist offs. And so I'll just kind of scan down through here and kind of show you real quick. You know, I've, I've weighed them all out and uh, put the purity like with the gold and made note if it's white or, you know, it, I didn't mark yellow gold, but I marked it if it was white. So, you know, I got a different platinum and gold varieties of uh, rings here different sizes different weights you know which bring in different numbers um, also a very tiny little 14k gold earring found it with the AT Pro um, very happy that the XP Deus does does see it um, and identify it it does come in really really low uh, I got rid of a CTX 3030 because the thing wouldn't find, you know, it, uh, it's not good for small gold. That uh, little piece of gold right there, the CTX 3030, no matter what pattern, wide open, no matter what setting, it wouldn't even break the threshold of that thing. So, in my opinion, if, it can't, if a machine that doesn't see small gold or tell you that there's something there, it's worthless to me. Then we go to uh, some 925 earrings. Got different sizes, different weights, um, uh, 925 little stud, see if that, you know, because it's a different shape, see if that comes in at different numbers. Uh, and just for informational purposes, I threw down, you know, some junk stuff down there. There's a junk stainless steel ring, uh, a couple junk tungsten rings. Um, and then, let's see what nickels come in at. And then uh, a couple different style pull tabs. There's like a newer style. And from what I've been told is uh, there's even, you know, more variation than just these two. Um, the colored pull tabs, like off of Monster Drinks or something, I guess, come in at even different numbers. But anyways, there's a common pull tab, newer style. There's an older style. Um, it comes in quite a bit higher. I was very surprised. Pulled that out of a lake. I don't know how old it is, but it's a different style, different, different metallic makeup. Come over here and uh, back to some more silver, different silver rings, different weights, uh, and then a couple different odd shaped ones. They're all, you know, not, not a continuous ring, like that one's a dolphin wrapped around. That one is almost like a coil. It's not a complete loop. The ends touch, but it's not a complete loop. Some, some metal detectors will actually see rings like that you know differently you get different numbers there's a toe ring so it's got a small gap you know I'm gonna see if uh, this detector you know gives a crazy number because of the break in the ring um, and then a titanium you know junk it's got a little 925 strip through it but it's basically junk and then over here I've just got silver quarter like a 1967 so a non-silver quarter and then a new state quarter I want to see if them where them fall a mercury dime a common you know modern day dime over here is the uh, should have put them together but it didn't the um, uh, 2012 nickel um, see what that rings up as compared to like an older one and then we get into some pennies no wheat pennies but I got a, a pre 82 copper penny then like a 2000 penny and then like a 2012 penny and then we've got uh, a round pull tab without the beaver tail, a round pull tab with the beaver tail still intact. And then down to some bottle caps. Three different brands. Um, see if uh, there's a variation in, you know, in that. Uh, and then a slightly older one that came out of a lake that's just got some rust on it. See, uh, you know, once they start rusting up, see what type of numbers that gives. Um, 
the following three videos I won't go through all this all these details of all these different rings this was just kind of like the introduction um, for the first video so um, well one nice thing about this that's great is this the ability to pull it off and, and wear it you know wear it on your arm you know you can do whatever you want with it it, it comes with a nice little holder but what's making it real convenient right now is with the glare which is horrible and I couldn't figure out how to film this I realized that well it's gonna be a little bit difficult but I'm gonna fold it off of the stock and gonna hold it sideways so you can see the numbers so we're gonna get started um, I'm just running in the basic one and the only change I did is I bumped it from basic one is normally the, the 12 kilohertz setting and I bumped it to the 18 or actually the 17.3 setting uh, so I'm going to start out with the top you know, frequency because as you drop in frequencies the numbers change um, so that's why there's going to be four different videos the same test done four times in the different frequencies so I guess we'll get started here this thing, video's getting long enough um, going to try to swing and uh, hopefully not get too much glare on the uh, on the, on the screen of the dais. So I guess we'll get started here. We'll start out with the, uh, the platinum, you know, uh, 9.21 grams of platinum. Okay, comes in at 64. We'll move on down to 5. Point, let's see, 5.98 grams of 14k white gold. Also comes at 64. Then we got 10.16 grams of 10k gold. A nice class ring. Was not able to find the owners. Okay. Comes in at 65. And now we got 4.383 grams 10 carat gold. Seventy-three, so a little bit higher. Then we move down to two point seven three grams, ten carat white gold. Forty-four, so forty-four jumps forty-six. Pretty steady, forty-four. So the number's a little lower. Then we got uh, 1.25 grams of 10K gold. That's also coming in at 44. And then we'll move down to, uh, this is a nice one, 7.24 grams of 14 karat white gold. That hits at 64. Then we go to 3.99 grams of 10 karat gold. Now this one hits quite a bit higher. Now that is actually 10k um, plum, which it's it's a guaranteed 10k gold. It's a thick, wide band, small but but wide, very thin but wide. So let me go to 2.07 grams of 10k. A little vintage ring found in the water. Coming in at 59. And then we get a little bitty kid's ring. 1.88 grams, 10 carat gold. Also at 59. And then here we got the, uh, the 14 carat gold earring. It's only 0 0.30 grams. Very tiny hollow, extremely light. Now let's see. Jumps around a little bit, but pretty steady. About 28. Very, very low. Don't know if I would dig that signal. Usually, you know, think it was a foil or something. Um, now we get into some sterling here. We got 4.35 grams of sterling silver. 
Christmas high 92. Uh, 5.08 grams, 925. 91. 1.97 grams, 925. 89. We got a real tiny little braided 1.03 grams 925. 85. Tiny 1.41 gram. <clears throat> Older ring pulled out of a lake, way crusted, kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Let's see what that comes in. 89. Now we got a 1.74 gram 925 stud earring square. It's got little diamonds in it, so different shape. 925 though. Oh. Actually, I bumped it. Eighty-five. Now we got some some junk here. Uh a junk stainless steel. 62. Now we got some tungsten. Two different sizes. This is the larger one. So about 82. About 4 grams lighter tungsten. 76. And then we got a common nickel. 72. It comes in at 62. Newer pull tab. Let's see what this comes in at. 64. Now here's where it got interesting. This is an older pull tab. I don't know how old, but it's just an older style. That comes in all the way up in the 80s. Definitely interesting of the difference between the two. And even the sound's different. Go over here. And you got uh, 479 grams of 925. Solid 95. You got um, 3.91 grams of 925. 89. 3.35 grams of 925. 92. 3.31 grams of 925. 94. Um, see if these different rings that are kind of odd shaped. Uh, 2.06. Mm, 86. Uh, let's see. 1.26 grams 925. Oh, let's see. First we'll do the 3.35, 925. A little bit odd shape. That thing is coming in. There's there's a difference. You know, that's a very weird shaped ring. Kind of jumping around. Oh, continue on. Go to the toe ring. Table 80. Then we'll get to the titanium. Let's go see where titanium comes in at. 82. All right. Almost done here. Let's see. We're gonna go through the some common change here. There's a silver quarter. 95. We'll move on to a common quarter. 95. Move on to a state quarter, the newer ones, 92, so the newer one look like they might come in a little lower, a mercury dime, 92, a common dime, 91, sorry this is probably blowing the speakers off your uh, computer right now, I got a 2012 nickel to see if it comes different with the metallic makeup. Alright, 
64. Some pennies here. An older penny. 91. A 2000 penny. 86. A 2012 penny. 85. All right, now we'll get into, try to wrap this up. All right, two different style pull tabs here around. One is without the beaver tail, one's with the, with the beaver tail. Old style pull tabs. Let's see, first we'll go with the one with no beaver tail. This is, uh, comes in at 70. Now we'll move over to the one that still has got the beaver tail on it. That's 62. Interesting. I'm going to move down to the the uh, twist offs. Four, three different styles and then one that's rusty. Been in the water a little while. So we'll see what these ring up at. Don't know the names. I'm not going to turn them over to see what brand of beverage they came off of. But, anyways, they're, they're different styles. So we'll start with the first one. Looks like a 92. Next one, kind of jumps around a little bit, 94, 95, go down to the next one, 94, pretty stable at 94, 95, and then last but not least, the one that's got a little bit of rust on it, came out of the water, it's been rusting a little while, Let's see what it, so the rusty one drops quite a bit. So, I know this video has been long, but I uh, basically made it for myself so I can sit back and study this because, like I said, brand new to the XP Deus. Uh, this thing is awesome. I think I'm going to really love it.